What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and it's an interesting day. Um, we've had kind of our first major release on Disney Plus outside of The Mandalorian. I mean, there have, a, there have been other programs released, but uh, the first kind of new Marvel um, programming that we've seen in a very long time. Uh, and fans of the Marvel Cinematic Universe have been waiting with bated breath to see what they would do with WandaVision, which of course features Vision and then Scarlet Witch or uh, Scarlet Witch. And uh, the uh, some of the reactions I saw online were pretty negative about it, which seemed odd to me. Um, I've watched the program and I, I think I understand why some people don't like it. It is a slow burn. It is kind of different in terms of what we've come to expect from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but I think it follows canon um, and it pokes fun at itself. It is, um, and there's, you can see kind of the, the cracks forming in um, what's happening now. According to Rotten Tomatoes, which is a joke, the show's got a 97%. Uh, and, you know, ultimately, I'm not sure exactly why um, people are so upset with it, but then the fans, 82%, solid fan score. But there's been a couple of articles already uh, coming out and saying, here's Epic Stream. Is WandaVision bad or just boring? Here's what people are thinking, according to. Twitter. The series just dropped on Disney Plus, uh, and there's a lot of controversy around the release. Fans have been eagerly awaiting the first series, and it controversially released the first two episodes to premiere in black and white. I don't think there was anything. I think this is manufactured. It features Wanda Maximoff, played by Elizabeth Olsen, and Vision by Paul Bettany, the same characters that played them in the MCU. WandaVision takes place after the events of Avengers Endgame, uh, and they're asking, how is Vision still alive? Well, I don't want to spoil it. I think I, I see where they're going. Um, there is canon around this. Uh, it's it's kind of a world that Scarlet Witch creates to, to deal with the loss of Vision, but we'll, we'll talk about that later. Um, in the first and second episodes, WandaVision emulates a 50s era of golden television with cheesy gimmicks and one-liners. Now, again, these... If they're not your type of comedy, they're not gonna, they're not going to land, and they're going to get boring really fast. But given the type of programming I grew up with, kind of the cheesy, you know, I love Lucy or like the Andy Griffith Show um, kind of comedy, I found myself laughing out loud several times. Not like rolling around, but giving it like a, <laughs> you know, like just a, a couple of audible laughs. I thought, you know, it was funny. Um, early critic reviews have been positive with Rotten Tomatoes debuted at 100%. However, many Marvel fans have been reacting quite differently than the critics. In fact, some uh, are saying that it's not good or bad. Google leading search terms, WandaVision bad, not good, trash, and more. Here's Scott Porch saying one sentence, WandaVision review. The first two episodes are the most boring hour of MCU related to date. I mean, that's just not even close to true. I think there's an entire hour in Endgame that's extraordinarily boring. Um, and, you know, not everything is for everybody. I understand that. Wanda Vision is not for me. I love Wanda and Vision, but I'm not sitting through and watching each episode as a parody of each decade. It's boring, not funny, and it doesn't even pull you in. I would agree with that, you have to be like looking for it. I think you have to be patient. If anything, I would say wait till all the episodes are out before you would dismiss the show. It's clearly, in my opinion, building to something much larger. Um, now, could they have done, could they have established themselves in like one episode and then kind of started showing more? Yeah, but it's clearly a slow burn to me. WandaVision is so incredibly boring, but the last 15 seconds of each episode will probably make me keep watching. Well, that's reasonable. Essentially, the last bit of each episode is where you start to kind of see the cracks forming. 
um, and you see the kind of the real world versus the world that uh, Scarlet Witch has created. Um, you know, 10 minutes into WandaVision is the most boring thing I've ever seen. Um, I don't know. I, I, I just don't, I don't think that that's a reasonable take. Um, and then you see this by, uh, an outkick is WandaVision the worst Disney plus creation ever. Disney plus has done a masterful job pumping up WandaVision, a new mini mini series based on Marvel comics characters, Wanda Maximoff and Scar or who's Scarlet Witch and Vision. The, the right there, that right there is enough to confuse people because the comics weren't exactly wildly popular. Fair. And despite the impressive marketing efforts, WandaVision is drawing criticism from even diehards who are just turning, tuning, uh, tuning on, turning on the shot of curiosity seem to be quickly turned off. Here's Clay Travis, who also writes for Outkick, by the way. I watched the first two episodes of WandaVision on Disney Plus with my six year old last night. It might be the worst two episodes of any two show I've ever seen. I just, there's no way. I even saw Tim Poole tweet this out. Like it was just, Tim tweeted out, um, it's the worst show I've ever seen. I I don't know. Am I am I being overly optimistic? And and be, let me be clear. I am. I mean, you could look at my catalog of videos. I'm no Disney shill. In fact, I'm on record as recently as like maybe a few weeks ago saying that I've got Marvel fatigue. But to me, this feels like something different, and different is welcomed right now. Um, it's, he goes on to say, it's possible that I'm not enough of a comic book nerd to know what's going on, but my six year old fell asleep. I kept watching, expecting for something and it didn't happen. Actors, Elizabeth Olsen and Paul Bettany are reprising their respective roles as Wanda Maximoff and vision from the film series. And they have indeed drawn some praise for their performances, but it's about the only positive vibes the shows have created since launching Friday. Um, I don't know. That said, the cast and crew of WandaVision do deserve credit for getting it done uh, during the lockdowns. But the final product, it seems, is leaving a lot to be desired. You see a lot of the comments. I called it when the first promo came out uh, and the Wall Street Journal had a review. Who on earth would have greenlit this project? Horrible premise for a show. I feel like these people... I feel like if you're just totally blown away by the fact that um, you know, the, the premise is bad. I don't think, I mean, and you would not be blamed for not knowing like the deep lore of Scarlet Witch and it is kind of an obscure character to give their own show, but I like Scarlet Witch. I'm not, a, you know, I like that, um, the comedy that's in the show. Um, but again, you know, here's some positive stuff, you know, so I just finished watching the first two episodes of WandaVision and I love it though. I love it so far. I think the jokes are funny and the concept itself is awesome. I also like how sword is introduced here, helping build the secret war and other things. And also, by the way, the, the show is jam packed with Easter eggs, jam packed. I don't even want to go through it all. Is it the best thing I've ever seen? No, there's also some annoying things like, Episodes only being 22 minutes long and then having to endure seven minutes of credits. Are we still doing credits? I, I mean, in the, the idea that seven minutes, I mean, that's nearly, I mean, of the 22, you know, of the 30 minutes, 25% uh, of it is freaking credits like that. I mean, that's such a non nip, you know, that's such a non issue, but uh, you know, it depends on who you are. After watching the series myself, I can say that I was a bit bored at times, although I did find the show entertaining. There's some comedy gold in the first few episodes, but it's very cheesy and the 50s style. Yeah, you have to have at least, I'm guessing, seen this type of show or, um, you know, uh, at, at, you know, at some point in your life to have, like, uh, uh, to genuinely enjoy the comedy. I'm not saying if you never saw I Love Lucy that you're not going to get the comedy, but based on today's lowbrow, like, uh, you know, gross out humor and, 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 and stuff like that, it may seem just not funny to you. You know, it says it's very different than what MCU fans will be used to. In an MCU filled with Russo Brothers action sequences, WandaVision is a slow-paced, story-driven show that unravels its mysteries 
piece by piece. WandaVision is a show for someone who enjoys the Marvel Universe but is also interested by the bygone eras of television and the wand, a casual, a pleasant viewing experience. Um, it's a show to relax to, at least to a point. They're looking for high plane. If you're looking for high flying superhero action, you may have the wrong expectations. The trailers do accurately portray what the show is about and the style and substance of the show. Yeah, I mean, you're going to have Winter Soldier. You're going to have like those high octane Marvel shows that that you. Um, how do I say uh, that you might expect? You know, She-Hulk is another show that probably won't be, like, super action-packed. Uh, but if you give it a chance, I think you'll like it. Uh, I think if you want to hop in a boat, you know, or a friend has some sort of uh, subscription they're willing to share, you don't want to give money to uh, Disney, I 100% understand and respect that. I don't buy just hating on this. I think that the show is better. You know, it may not be for you if you don't like slow paced, slow burn kind of stuff. Um, but also, it's certainly not bad. It's not the worst thing Disney's ever produced. That seems like hyperbole. I'd be interested to hear what you think of the first two episodes of WandaVision if you've watched it. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.